Welcome to a video on Intel's Embedded Board Planner. Want to start an embedded design? Check out the Embedded Board Planner. The interactive tool exposes you to your selected processor's platform capabilities and gives you a first cut estimate whether the components you want will fit on your board. To find the tool, go to Intel's main page and select Menu. Then select Audience, Embedded Developers, Design Resources, and Embedded Board Planner. This brings you to the Embedded Board Planner's landing page, which gives you a brief overview of the capabilities of the tool. Launching the tool, the basic tool flow is from left to right, starting with the platform. We see the various product families the E3800 product family, the C2000 product family, the N2000, D2000 product family, and others. More will be added. I will select the Intel Atom processor D2550. Now under the board tab, we can select three formats, the eval board, a standard board, or we can define a custom board. I will select the Cedar Rock eval board. Here we are now under the peripherals tab where we can graphically see the processor's capability. We have digital displays, HDMI, we have one selected, we'll have a VGA, DDR3, USB2, SATA, SPI Flash, High Definition Audio, PCI Express. I can change my selections. Down below, we have everything that's not graphically presented, like connectors and buttons, battery, diagnostic ports. You also have the ability to add a user-defined part to the board. Moving on, under the Solution tab, we see the eval board that we selected with all the components placed on the board in their appropriate position. The board and components are to scale, so you can determine if you can fit some circuitry on the board. For example, these blocks here are adjustable. If I wanted to resize that, I could move it over. Let me double click that, and this is for the VRM for the CPU. So I can put the parameters in here, I can rotate it or whatever. I can move components. If components get into each other, they can crash, and it will show you that. Down here is a legend. You have collision, keep out. So if I move this into the keep out area, you'll no notice it turns orange. So this allows planning of where you want to put things on the board and whether things will fit. Going to power. You see the various breakout of the power. You can add a heat sink if you want. It shows it in pie charts. Also shows the board. It shows you the heat generating elements here also. And these are configurable. Moving to thermal. we can set the environmental settings of air temperature, air flow, air speed, and direction. And we can simulate. We are uploading the mesh files. As you wait, you can watch a short video about embedded system solutions from Intel.
When it's ready, we get a preliminary thermal analysis. We have different images that we can look at. We have a thermometer scale, highest temperatures are 114, and breakout of temperatures on the right. Moving to the schematics. We can see a list of the schematics in hierarchical form on the left. For a better view, you can open the schematics in a new window. You can download the schematics in Altium format. Here I can go and select under USBs. These schematics are actually modified depending on what peripherals were selected on the board tab. Finally, under the report tab, you can download a report summarizing your conceptual PCB design, get access to design content, and view available board solutions from Intel Intelligence Systems Alliance Solutions Directory. Everything that you've done can be viewed. You go to Design Resources, and you have the available links. You must register if you want to save or share your work with colleagues or request design assistance from Intel. Now you are well on your way in your embedded design. If you are ready to discuss your project with an Intel expert, use the Design Assistant feature in the upper right hand corner to get connected with an agent in your area. Thanks for watching.